Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yo Yo Man with Barnsley in today's episode. So what are we playing? Uh, we're playing Spurs away from home we're also playing Burnley at home with a view of potentially qualifying for Europe. Just a couple of administrative things to go through before we get into uh, the games that you've missed. Uh, we're improving the training facilities again. I think that's the third time alongside the youth facilities that we've done so since we've joined the club, which is absolutely massive. And if you can remember back all the way to the first episode, one of our main objectives by the board was to buy our own stadium. And it looks like that process is underway and should be completed uh, before July this year. So Barnsley should own their own stadium. They'll have massively improved training and youth facilities alongside data analysis facilities. So we're going to leave Barnsley in a much better spot than which we found them. And speaking of that, we have had some tremendous form since the January transfer window. The first game of which was a 2-2 draw against Manchester City. And I'm actually a little bit disappointed. We went 2-0 up. Arjen van der Heerde in the 10th minute and Lewis Montenu in the 35th minute. But they came back at it in the second half. Joe Felix in injury time in the first half. Then Kevin De Bruyne in the 89th minute. It was a back-to-the-wall performance, but we played really well. Just unfortunate we couldn't hang on for the three points. We then went away from home against West Bromwich Albion and got ourselves a 4-2 victory. Goresabel, Ian van der Heerde and Lewis Montenu put us 4-0 up. They started coming back into things though. Andros Townsend and Raheem Harper with two for them. But by that point, we were already long gone. Unfortunately for us, Ian van der Heerde picked up an injury. <laughs> Obviously. Next up was a home tie against Fulham, which we comfortably won 2-0. Lewis Montenu and Marcel Tisserand with the goals in this one. Fulham basically offered absolutely nothing. We then had a home tie against Watford in the league and won 4-2. Gonzalo Ramos, Abel Ruiz, Montano and Vera with the goals. A fantastic performance from the boys, a really dominating performance. They got two late goals through Ismail Esau and Rob Holden. So it's a little bit concerning that we're conceding so many goals, but when you win in 4-2, the concern goes away pretty quickly. And then probably the most impressive result of the mile alongside the Manchester City draw was in a weird draw against Arsenal. They went 2-0 up through Alexander Lacazette and Ben Cottrell, but uh, Gonzalo Ramos and Lewis Montenu in the second half got us back into it. And to be honest with you, we almost took the game and got three points, but to come back from 2-0 down against league leaders Arsenal was absolutely fantastic. And this is how the Premier League table looks after those set of fixtures. We are now 29 points clear of relegation, and we're already mathematically confirmed to not be able to be relegated, by the way. Uh, some of our players got their avoiding relegation bonuses paid out so that's how i knew uh, but we are currently in sixth position so we're in a european player spot eight points behind chelsea in fifth only two points clear of wolves in seventh but we're also playing spurs today and they are in eighth and i thought they were going to be the ones we will be challenging for european spots which is why i'm bringing you today's game away from home first of all against spurs and then at home against burnley so this is how we're going to line up for the first game today. Zoho will keep his spot in goal. Goresabel, Franco, Tisserand and of course our new signing Joaquin Sanchez has made that left back spot his own and he will be our for, uh, starting left back for the foreseeable future. So he gets his spot at left back today. Uh, Fosto Vera and Nicolas Capaldo in the centre with Ian van der Heerde, Gonzalo Ramos, Abel Ruiz playing in behind Lewis Montano. We've got some very youngsters on the bench like the likes of Stevanovic and uh, Emiliano Lopez, I believe is his name. Edwin Lopez. <laughs> yeah, it's completely the same. Anyway, let's look at the Spurs side. Any major signings? I've got Herving Lozano, Evander there, Nathan Ackney, Mario Fernandez. So some good signings. And um, they are probably underperforming compared to what their board was expecting, sitting in eighth position. But that's not to mean we can underestimate them. You know, we've had some good results against some pretty good sides. But today is a massive, massive test nonetheless. First highlight of the game comes one minute in at Spurs who have possession in the midfield. We are pretty deep at the minute, so you would imagine they're going to be able to retain possession quite comfortably. And as you can see, pockets of space are opening up between the midfield and our attack. As Harry Winks tries to play it down the line for Lozano, he does receive the pass. Sanchez, though, gets the challenge in. And maybe we can break with Abel Ruiz. Finds Montenu on this left-hand side. He's got absolutely no support. He goes, switches the play to Ian van der Heerde. Garasabel takes over and goes for goal. I'd rather have van der Heerde shot, to be honest with you. Let me just show you Ian van der Heerde quickly. Yeah. Yeah, 120k. He's looking pretty special. Second highlight of the game, 17 minutes in. We are on the attack this time. Gressabel plays the ball to the back post. Abel Ruiz is there after Lewis Montenu heads it down for his 13th goal of the season. He's done absolutely fantastically coming off that left-hand side and playing up front when it has been required. But Gressabel, another decent player this season, 
Yeah, getting the ball in. Abel Ruiz is there to tuck it home comfortably. Loris has got no chance. We take the lead against Spurs. Another highlight now. Who is stepping over this free kick? It's Ian van der Heerde. Can he put it into the back of the net? Good save by Loris. Good save again. Abel Ruiz nearly gets the um, rebound to get us 2-0 up. But it was a fantastic free kick initially by Ian van der Heerde. And this corner is likely to come to nothing. Abel Ruiz has picked up a slight knock, so we're going to get him off Philippe, Philippe Stevanovic. He has been getting some good game time, and he's not the best player by any means, at least currently. But um, having him available on the bench, being able to give him as much game time as possible, whilst we are still manager of Barnsley, is obviously a nice thing to, to do to be able to progress um, his attributes, possibly. 56 minutes in, we get our first highlight of the second half, and it's Spurs coming forward with Harry Winks in the centre. Tries to find, I think that's Herving Lozano. Uh, but we managed to cut it out and we can break with Lewis Montenu. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And Hugo Lloris is equal to Montenu, unfortunately. He should probably be putting us 2-0 up there. Uh, I don't know what you would say. Would you agree? I would agree. Um, corner comes to nothing. Of course it does. Spurs with the free kick. Evanders to take it. It goes to the back post. Or Cellini or Lozano. One of them got the head on it. But it wasn't to be. And it wasn't on target. Another highlight now. Ryan Sessegnon bringing it down the left-hand side for Spurs. Finds Christopher Ayer, who's just come on the pitch. In the centre, Mario Fernandez whips the ball in. Lozano's there back post. And our keeper was left flat-footed. And Lozano gets his 12th goal of the season. And levels things up for Spurs with only 23 minutes remaining in the match. A little bit disappointing by us, this. Uh, Lozano gets completely past Garessa Bell here. After the ball is whipped in by Fernandez And Zoho, that's just absolutely dreadful. It's basically straight at him. All he needs to do is move slightly to his left-hand side. But uh, the momentum from him going the other way ends up costing us. We're going to bring on Tony Herrero for Joaquin Sanchez at left back. And um, see if he can maybe provide some attack and threat. Before the game I would have absolutely taken... Um, I'm not bringing on him. I would have absolutely taken a draw before the game. But the way the first half went, I think we were by far the better side. And to be, to be only getting a point out of this, it's a little... Oh, please get a point out of this. Oh my dears. Oh no, <laughs> this is why you don't speak until the end of the game Sam, but thankfully it's been given offside, there is a god and VAR has ruled that out, so we are going to get away with a point, Spurs won, Barnsley won, um, in the end a decent result. <laughs> Another bit of transfer business to talk about, we're bringing in El Medin Fazalic at the end of the season, he's a, a Swiss centre-back, currently playing with uh, FC Basel and he looks pretty well rounded for what he is, he's currently, a, what is he, two and a half star, five star current. Uh, two and a half star current five star potential player and we're bringing him in for 1.8 million pounds for Barnsley to be able to develop one Sam gone and just to give them I want to set them up as well as I possibly can with young players to be able to see them through because I do want Barnsley to do well once we leave I want uh, them to stay in the Premier League for us to go back down to the championship pick a club and then be able to play Barnsley this season after if we are to get promoted so we're here for the Burnley game we are playing them at home so you would expect us to be able to get a win in today's game but obviously it's not always that easy we'll have to wait and see how things go in terms of the starting 11 it's exactly the same as you would expect apart from a Zoho who's picked up a two-week injury so Jamal Blackman comes in in goal for one of his rare appearances Burnley come at us pretty defensively with a 4-5-1 three men in the midfield might cause us some um, problems in the center but let's get the kick off and see how we handle it First highlight of the game comes 10 minutes in. We are on the attack with Gonzalo Ramos. Plays it through to Abel Ruiz. Oh my god. That is a great, great finish. Really calm, really composed. Takes it past a couple of defenders and then knocks. Gets himself in a position where it's almost impossible to score. That's his 14th goal of the season. I don't think that quite takes him to our top scorer. But it gets him pretty close to uh, Montanu. But uh, fantastic player by Ramos. Fantastic player by Ruiz. Two lone players. Second highlight of the game, it's a free kick for us in their half. Alan Franco finds Van der Heer who finds Montenu in behind and that is a tidy finish. Nick Pope almost keeps it out for Burnley but Lewis Montenu gets his 16th goal of the season to put us 2-0 up inside 20 minutes. This is looking pretty easy right now. Van der Heer with the header, uh, Nick, he does really come close to saving that. It looked like Montenu maybe messed it up but it wasn't a B and we go 2-0 up. Another highlight now, ball played down the right-hand side for Van der Heer, who gets a back post and Abel Ruiz is there. And every single highlight has led to a goal so far. That's what we like to see. Uh, plenty of goals, particularly for the likes of Ruiz and Montenegro. It was another free kick played down the right-hand side. 
Alan Franco playing it for Van der Heerde. Ball whipped into the back post. Abel Ruiz is there to get his second of the game. He's 15th of the season. And this is looking too easy. Highlight now for Burnley. Berisha takes the corner, plays it in back post. And is that a little bit of a lifeline for Burnley? 33 minutes in, they get their first goal of the game. Guillermo Marapin with his first goal of the season as well. Oh, boys just didn't defend particularly well from this corner. And it's resulted in a goal. Caressa Bell with the throw in in an advanced position in Burnley's box. It goes to the back post for Ruiz. He hits the post. Van der Heerde tries to play it back in. Almost made a 4-1. And that is going to be it for the first half. Barnsley 3, Burnley 1. Caressa Bell has picked up a little bit of a knock, so we will look to get him off immediately. We'll bring on Jordan Williams. I will back up right back. Um, no need to risk one of our uh, most important players just to see out the rest of this game. Hopefully, we'll be able to win it comfortably. Highlight for Burnley though, free kick in our half. Berisha is the man to take it. They end up playing about and we can start pushing and start putting them under a bit of pressure. But they found the space with Good Munson on this right hand side. He plays the ball in. That's going to be an easy save for Jamal Blackman. And maybe we can counter from this. Abel Ruiz picks it up on the left hand side and cuts in. Decent challenge by Tarkovsky, but Capaldo goes for goal. Wasn't. <laughs> Whatever. And with only 20 or so minutes to go, we will bring off Iron van der Heerde. Who is, uh, it looks like he maybe picked up a knock. We'll bring on Stevanovic for Gonzalo Ramos as well. The nice thing about Stevanovic is he can play on the left hand side and through the centre naturally. So he's cover for both positions. Fosto Vera with a free kick from the edge of the 18 yard box. Plays it in back post. Capaldo gets his head to it. But uh, it's a decent save by Nick Pope in the end. We keep up the pressure though with Wilkes. Plays it in Capaldo. Whips it into Abel Ruiz. And that is Abel Ruiz's 16th goal of the season. His third goal of this game. Absolutely fantastic. If I could sign him for Barnsley right now, I would. But unfortunately, he's worth a bit too much money. Um, but Capaldo playing the ball back post. Abel Ruiz is there to head home. He has well and truly solved our left-sided crisis that we had with Jordan Ibe and Reese Nelson. He is the main man and I hope they go for him in the summer um, with whoever ends up taking over. Joaquin Sanchez whips the ball in. Matt Wilkes is there. It looks like it's going to be a Lewis Montanu assist. Wilkes' fifth goal of the season. Bearing in mind, he's barely played at all. I know he scored a hat-trick against um, Spurs, I think, earlier in the season when Van der Heerde was injured. But um, fantastic stuff by us going 5-1 up. Sanchez, he's done pretty well since he's come into the side. Montenu with the header on. And maybe the keeper should be out for that a little bit quicker. But nevertheless, five minutes to go. We are cruising. Probably going to be the final highlight of the game. 90 minutes in. Wilkes plays it down to Jordan Williams on this right-hand side. The ball's whipped into Montenu. <laughs> I mean, we are playing sensationally right now. Unbeaten in, I think it's about 11 or 12 games. Lewis Montenu getting his second today, 17th of the season. And even our backup players, the likes of Wilkes and Jordan Williams, are getting involved in the attack and play. Great little pass by Wilkes to Jordan Williams. It's a nice cross. Goes a little bit behind Montenu, but he adjusts his body and he's able to get the shot on target and in the back of the net. Looks like it's still going to be another highlight. Berisha with a free kick for Burnley. Goes straight for goal. Blackman's easily going to save that every day of the week. And is it going to be a break for us? Looks like it could be with Abel Ruiz playing it down the line for Montenu. Can he get his hat-trick as well? He certainly can. Lewis Montenu gets anything Abel Ruiz can do, Lewis Montenu can do as well. He gets us two hat-tricks for the day's game. Seven goals. Uh, this is exactly like the West Ham game. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Lovely little through ball for Abel, by Abel Ruiz for Montenu. And it looked like it was going to hit the post, but it just sneaks in. You know, when I leave Barnsley... I am going to be a little bit sad. This team is really, really sensational. It's exciting. It's young. Um, it's cheap, <laughs> which is always uh, a benefit for a team like Barnsley. But they're playing sensationally against a Burnley side who've been in the Premier League for years at this point. Uh, two players with a hat-trick, Abel Ruiz and Lewis Montenu being our main men. And we retain our position in sixth place in the Premier League. We're level on points now with Wolves, but our goal difference is massively superior. Do we play Wolves in the last six games or so? I think we do. We've got them the second last game of the season. So have a good guess about who we're going to come back to. Wolves and Bournemouth to round out this season and to round out our career at Barnsley. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.